This is a Fox News alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. Was it terrorism? That is the question on tens of millions of people's minds tonight following the crash of an Egypt air flight into the Mediterranean Sea early today. 66 people were aboard that flight from Paris to Cairo. There are conflicting reports about whether any wreckage has been spotted so far. The U.S. is helping in the search, offering assistance from its experts and working feverishly to try to find out about what happened. We have Fox Team coverage tonight. Catherine Herridge has the latest intelligence on the crash. But our coverage begins tonight where that ill-fated flight began at Charles de Gaulle International Airport outside Paris. Senior Foreign Affairs correspondent Greg Palcott is there tonight. Hello, Greg. Hi, Brett. Egypt Air Flight 804 took off from the terminal behind me last night. The little those on board knew their fates would soon be sealed. 11.09 Wednesday night, Paris time, Charles de Gaulle Airport. Egypt Air Flight 804 and Airbus A320 takes off. On board, 66 people, including 56 passengers. Among them, Egyptians, French, a Canadian, a Briton. No Americans, but there were children. And among the crew, tellingly, three security. The flight from Paris across Europe towards the destination of Cairo goes smoothly at the outset. 124 Thursday morning, the plane enters Greek airspace. Air controllers there make voice contact. There are no reports of stormy weather. And then, over the Mediterranean, something went awry. It executed a turn of 90 degrees left and then a turn of 360 degrees toward the right, dropping from 37,000 to 15,000 feet, and then we lost it at about 10,000 feet. 2.29 a.m., 175 miles off the coast of Egypt, the plane was gone. No distress call, no other indication of trouble. In the coming hours, the families of the victims at both Cairo and Paris's Charles de Gaulle airports were racked with worry and demanded answers from the authorities. They don't have any information. They haven't found the wreckage, but obviously there is little hope. Late morning Paris time Thursday, a grim-faced French President Francois Hollande announces the bad news. The information we have been able to gather is the plane came down and is lost. But why did it crash? Could there have been a mechanical error, or was it what people feared, terrorism? A short while later, an Egyptian official says that's a possibility. The possibility of having a different action or go, uh, having a terror attack is higher than the possibility of having a technical. Late Thursday afternoon Paris time, another Egypt Air flight heads to Cairo. Among those on board, family members of the victims wanting to be closer to their loved ones wherever, however. And more questions tonight. Egypt Air now says it cannot confirm that the debris found earlier today in the Mediterranean came from its stricken plane. As the hunt for clues continues. Brett. Greg Palcott live in France. Greg, thank you.